the ability for uh, your players to kind of check their ego at the door and take whatever role uh, you give them, uh, where does that come from, and is that a, a true strength of the program in Hockey Canada? Well, I think it is, but I think it's on all good teams. I mean, if you watch the checks today, they're exactly like that. They're ultra-organized. They're working hard. They track like crazy. They defend. That's what everyone does when they play for their country, and if you can't, uh, you can't be successful in the National Hockey League either. So to me, uh, when you do your little part in team sports, you have success together. And if you're more concerned about what you do than when the team does, you don't have a whole lot of success. Next, Arpen. Just um, I'm wondering what you anticipate in this building tonight, how it's going to feel, and, and, and sort of the, the atmosphere in the building. You know what? I think it's going to be a home crowd for us. You know, uh, it, it's like anything. Though I think when Canada plays, the home crowd is often nervous. And if the game's tense and nervous, the hometown's often pretty quiet. And if the game loosens up a little bit, they have more fun. How's that? Mark? Yeah, I, uh, Mark Godin from La Presse, Montreal. We know the abundance of centers that you have, and you, a lot of them play wings, and we know the, the benefits of it, but is there any, uh, any potential um, you know, down part to that, to, to having those, those guys that are playing not their natural position, and how do you prepare to counter that? Yeah, I think zero. It's interesting, is you line up on a face-off, and the center takes the draw, right? And then after that, does anybody play in one position? Not that I'm aware of. The first guy back plays down low. If you're caught down low, you don't play down there. So I don't know much about that. And when you have the puck, because you've got a left-hander and a right-hander, and you've got people that are used to playing down low more, I think you have the puck more, and you're usually better defensively and offensively. I also would bet if you go through the National Hockey League and you look at the top 50 forwards, I bet a chunk of them are centers. Why wouldn't you have the best guys? Back there, Steve. Time was, Mike. Uh, t people like Rocket Richard, Gordy Howe, um, Guy Lafleur were the best players in, in the NHL, all playing the wing. What changed to go mm -hmm. from that period of time to now, where all the best players are centers? Well, I think Ovi would have something to say about that. But I mean, you're right. There's lots of centers that dominate the game. Now, the other thing is, is if you have a winger and he doesn't have a real good center, who gets him the puck? He starves to death on the wing. So to me, when you're a little kid, the center gets to chase the puck all over. That's what he gets to do. Everyone else has to stay in their position, what the coach tells them. But the center just gets to chase it all over. That sounds like fun to me. You get to do whatever you want. So that's probably why the best players get to do that, because the best guy, they want to have the puck, the coach in minor hockey, so they let him chase it all over the rink. I don't know. I, I, I just made that up. I'm not sure. <laughs> Gordy was pretty good. Anybody else, guys? Have hey, a good Michael, day, fellas. Look.